Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Today is February 5th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. To combat the teacher shortage around the state, a Utah lawmaker is proposing a bill that would allow individuals to become teachers through a certification program rather than earning a bachelor's degree. Representative Norman Thurston says this different path would be much like an electrician learning through on-the-job training. Details on how much the program would cost or how long the certification would take have yet to be determined, but this idea causes you to think, is a traditional four-year college path even necessary? Why wouldn't it be easier to allow specialized training for all careers, much like trade programs do? In other news, it has been nearly a year since Russia invaded Ukraine and the devastation is still underway with Russia now announcing that they will recruit female prisoners to become snipers in the war. The longevity of this battle is a testament to the power of the Ukraine people who have been fighting to sustain their country while Russia's economy has been badly disrupted and their military's reputation has been damaged. Russian President Vladimir Putin's desperate attempt to become a historical figure is turning his country into an enemy of the entire world. Shame on you, Putin. Well, it's time for a break. Have you noticed a new trend among celebrity influencers lately? This drug may be responsible for their incredible transformations. Details when we come back. Don't miss it. I'm Emily. And I'm Stephanie. And, and we're, we're the hosts of the podcast, Cycle Chats. Like a podcast to break the cycle of what it means to be a woman. We partner with nonprofits who are looking to make a difference for women everywhere. And a portion from any purchase from the Cycle Store goes straight to that nonprofit. We hope you sync up with us. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? Over the last year, we've watched as many celebs and influencers have ditched the voluptuous look of the BBL for a slimmer body type. Many believe that this is a result of a drug created to treat diabetes. The drug is called Ozempic. And Real Housewives of New Jersey star Jackie Goldschneider describes Ozempic as an eating disorder in a needle. Let's talk about Ozempic with Dr. Kelly Johnson Arbor, the co-director of the Poison Center in Washington, D.C. Dr. Kelly, can you tell us more about Ozempic? Is it dangerous? Hey, Tierica, thanks for having me on the show again today. Um, so yeah, let's talk about Ozempic. So Ozempic and Wagovi, and there's other brand names too. These are medications that were initially developed as a treatment for diabetes. The concern with these medications is that yes, they do cause weight loss, but you have to take them for a long time. So if you stop taking the medications, you gain the weight right back. So because of this, people are taking these medications on for a long time, maybe even for years, maybe even for the rest of their lives. And like any medication, Ozempic and its companion drugs all have side effects. And some of these side effects we only know a little bit about because these are relatively new medications, Tierica. We do know that there are dangers in taking them in the short term. So when you take when you start taking these medications, a lot of people experience just like really nasty GI effects like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea. Um, usually these effects happen when you first start taking the drugs. Is this medication dangerous in the long term? It may be. Again, we, we just don't have enough data to, to know exactly what the long-term side effects are. Thank you, Dr. Kelly, for your insight. Thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.